What's up guys, it's Default here. So I've been having a lot of people ask, so I decided to go ahead and make a video showing you how to set up your hotkeys on Weeble and Thinkorswim, as well as your OCO brackets, so you can set your stop loss and your take profit at this click of a button. So you're gonna come over here to Weeble, and you're gonna to go to your custom layout, and you're going to click on add a widget. You're gonna click on active trader and classic trade. And you're going to drag these to wherever you prefer. Once you've done that, I suggest linking and grouping all of these things. So as you change from chart to chart, so do the respective different areas. Um, so as far as I know, Weeble does not have OCO brackets for options, but they do have them for common shares. So for common shares, you would go over here to your classic trade and you click your stop loss and take profit. And you could change that based upon the percentage or the dollar amount. So if you've like identified key levels, um, so you can do that. Um, for options, you'd come over here to Active Trader, and these buttons are primarily set up for shares at first. So we're going to go and change that. So you go to your Active Trader settings, and we're going to remove those buttons. And we're going to come down here to Options, and we're going to make some custom buttons. So just change it to whatever. I'm, we're gonna add the bid and the ask and market for buy and sell. And you would click here where you want to apply it to and you would click option and buy or sell. So this is buy bid and we're gonna create that. So once you've created those, um, go ahead and add these to the chart. And we're gonna go in and set it limit for the bid obviously and Put it to good to um, good to cancel. Change the amount of contracts, whichever you prefer, and the amount for offset. So this is how much it can fluctuate from wherever the bid currently is at or the ask. Um, so I put mine to 0 0.05, and then you can set your hotkey. Once you have all that, click done, and then you now have it set up to. So say you and when you come over here and click, you don't click on the the bid or the ask or any of this to have this change, you would click over here in this area. So now this chart up here changes as well, and you have your active trader linked to this specific contract. So you can click bid, you can click ask, or you can click market, but it executes it immediately. Um, this is really nice for getting in and out of trades, and uh, it's, it's helped me a lot. So we're gonna go over to Thinkorswim now. And how you do this in Thinkorswim is you come over here to your chart and you're going to link this as well with your watch list. So as you click over here, this respectively changes. And you're going to go over here to trade and you're going to pull up the options chain. So you, whichever one you decide you would like, you would right click and you click copy. Go back to your chart and you're going to control V, press enter, and it's going to pull up the options chart of the contract you selected. You're going to come over here and click Active Trader on the sidebar, and now it's going to pull this up. We're going to add a couple buttons in here. Click on Buy Ask, Buy Bid, and then Sell Ask, Sell Bid, and click OK. So now we have your hotkey set up, but we're going to add a couple more. So you could just use the market for buy and sell. But down here, there's another little feature I like. So you click on one of these buttons and this comes up. And this is just taking more time. So we wanna eliminate this. Um, so you're gonna come down here and you're gonna click auto send with shift click. And just click exit out of that. So now, as you can see, market's closed, but just shift click and you can put however many contracts you want and it automatically goes through. And I would also click to auto send right here. Um, but still, there's an even faster way to do this because, right, you're going back and forth between the options chain and the chart and having to copy and paste, and it's, it's a little bit aggravating. So you can go over here to Flexible Grid. And what we're going to do is we're going to add two of these down here and just enter something for a placeholder spy and we're going to link these to three and four so now you go back over to the options chain 
and for just for an example, we're going to go down here. And we're going to send this um, this call to three, and we're going to sell these puts. Send these puts over to four. So now, when you go back over to here on the flexible grid, you have these respective um, options, and we're going to also click Active Trader on the sides of these. So now we're going to add in those buttons like we did on the other one. Just real click, real quick. Add these two. And we're gonna do it over here as well. There we go. And that's pretty much it. So now we have this all set up in one place. So we have the actual price action chart for the ticker you're watching, as well as the different contracts down here that you're looking at with the hotkeys that are correlated. If you found this information useful, go ahead and click subscribe, as well as going and follow me on Twitter for more educational content.